Leo. Welcome to Shared Sentence. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. This is going to be your general reading for the next five days. Any information you need, you can find it down in the description box. I do have personals open right now up until October the 21st. Um, you could also check me out on Patreon where I post additional content for each sign. So let's go ahead and get started here for you, Leo. Let's see what we're getting for you. Good. Well, manifestation is going to come, whatever you're trying to manifest here is going to come very easy to you within the next five days, okay? So take advantage of that energy for sure. It's going to be a good time to make decisions, okay? All right. Um, so you have the Three of Cups as the overall energy. This talks about a harvest, a celebration, something growing. This could be a reunion, a coming together. Um, but it is, there's a lot to talk about here, okay? Um, not necessarily for me, but I mean for you. There's there's a lot that you could be celebrating here. Um, all good cards for, for the most part, okay? Now, showing up for your thoughts, you have the Ace of Wands. So it's like there's a new vision here, and then bam, there's communication about this vision. Some of you, this could be you're attracted to this fellow fire sign here, for example. And then bam, they're communicating with. You. It's like you did you did nothing here, you know, and that's not to say that you can't do anything or that it's wise to not do anything. It just seems as if there's something here that is like you're in perfect harmony with is how that feels to me. Somebody could have Mars in Aries, okay? Um, but it's like you move from the Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands, okay? So it's like there's progression here with what, whatever's going on in your mind, it's starting to manifest in your reality. I'll put it that way. Now, showing up in your earth energy, for what you need to ground, you have the queen of swords. Some of you really need to realize how far you've come in a situation here. Some of you really need to speak your truth in the workplace as well. Or be honest with yourself about what it is that you want. Because the queen of swords, her crown is butterflies. So that talks about turning this victim energy into a victory. Okay, so there is potential for that to happen. Especially with the three of cups being your overall here. And then you have the uh, world card showing up for your stability. So if you've been struggling financially, I feel like that's coming to an end. But there is a new chapter ahead regardless. Regardless of where you are, you could be in a really good space right now. I feel like that's coming to an end. But the good news is that I feel like the next chapter is also worth celebrating. Okay, so it could just be that you're leveling up here, Leo. Um, and then showing up for your feelings, you have the judgment card. So there is an awakening here. Some of you, you could be feeling like time is passing very quickly. Um, I feel like you're in a space where you are just living a bunch of different lives here is how that feels to me. Like you're having a bunch of different really big experiences with the world card showing up. Could involve a Scorpio or an Aries coming in here. But I feel like there is a big decision that you're making here. Uh, showing up for what your intuition wants you to know. You have the three of swords. So really allowing logic to rule. I think that you're in a space where you could be kind of scaring yourself out of something really good because the three of swords um, the swords represent the mind and the intellect and you've got them piercing through that heart there okay so they're overpowering the emotion all right so um, allowing logic to take the lead at least for these next five days is going to be beneficial showing up for what you're creating is the hangman let it happen because like I said there's something here that is just coming right in okay like I said it's like it's happening in your head it's happening in your heart and then bam there it is it's right in front of you they're saying let it happen it could be with the Pisces all right but the hangman is a card of like not really forcing anything and that's showing up as the energy that you're creating for what you're destroying you have the Empress now the Empress is a really good card don't get me wrong but she's also known as the mother of the tarot sometimes the mother can be very overprotective and I think that could be a space that you're in when it comes to your heart or when it comes to your creative passions whatever this might mean to you I think that you're a little bit protective over what's safe, over what's comfortable, and what you know. So they're wanting you to come out of that energy that's showing up for what you're destroying and just let this happen. Let's clarify the air energy, please. <clears throat> The Hermit. Yeah, this is a card of looking within. It's a card of introspection. Um, it can be a card of isolation. Some of you could be getting back out there, but you've got the star and the lantern there. The star represents um, hope, renewal, rebirth, faith. So I feel like that's coming in. You've taken time to yourself. You've healed a lot, and I think the universe is rewarding you for that. You know what you want, okay? How about clarifying that earth energy, please? Clarifying that earth energy, please. Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's something that's stressing you out. They're wanting you to speak your truth here or to be or to have the courage. Work on having the courage to close a chapter. Some of you, you're not wanting to close a chapter, even though you know that the next one has so many exciting things ahead for you, okay? But there is a lot on your mind here when it comes to work, business, money, all right? Stability, security. Uh, there's a lot to get done in the next five days. Yeah, there's a lot to get done or there's just a lot, uh, like there's a mental list that you're, that you're going down here. 
I think that some of you, you could delegate. You could chip away at some of those swords. Um, some of you are making something harder than it has to be, all right? Um, especially if you're in that space where you're kind of stressing yourself out about going for something new or closing this chapter. There's something much better that lies ahead for you. Clarify the water energy, please. The star, yeah, hope, renewal, rebirth, faith, restored. So some of you, that could definitely be a love situation up here in the top row. Um, it doesn't have to be, though, but I do feel like this is a new direction, all right? With the star card showing up, it's also guidance. So some of you, that queen of swords could be guiding you out of that nine of swords space as well. Nine of swords is also a card of waking up to something, and it was showing up to clarify your earth energy. So it's like some of you are waking up to something that has to be done in the physical, not just in the head space, not just in spirit, not just in dreams. You've got to do it in real life. And I think that could be why the star card is showing up here as well. That talks about wishes, opportunities, guidance, passing on knowledge as well. So some of you are actually delivering communication here, okay? It's like, this is what I want. I want you to know what I want. So that's something that's going on for some. Let's clarify the fire energy, please. What's that? Knight of Wands. Yeah, absolutely. Going for something here, all right? Just going all in. So I like that for you all. Sagittarius energy there with that. But that's what I'm seeing for you, Leo. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, please feel free to watch out for your other signs. You could also check me out on Patreon and book a personal up until the 21st. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me and you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.